literally just just I don't know. Literally just got back to uh, to Omaha and and uh, and haven't even fired my computer up. So, um, but I'm, I I appreciate the opportunity to be on the call this morning. Nice to meet everybody. Great to have you here as well. Thank you. Um, okay, so who do we have? We have Rob. We have you well, know we have Andrew, Mike Junior, myself, Christina, Heath, Dan. Uh, who am I missing? Who's the 417 number? Oh, that's me. I ended up having to dial in because my I oh, okay. connect with my computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We make it a point to, uh, if people don't identify themselves, we make it a point to boot them out so that they don't, they don't sit down. <laughs> that's we've had, great. I like that. We've got too many spies try to come in on our calls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's, there's a few other individuals who might be hopping in or uh, that's why I'm recording so that we can share it with them. There's, um, I would say four or five, we, we just got our leads today. So some people, we have not pushed to Nebraska yet, though it's so exciting and everything that we've heard about you, uh, about what you guys have to offer. Um, we just kind of wanted to wait to make sure the leads came in before, before we start pushing that way. So uh, that's where we're at right now. We've and had, we're recording to share with them. We, we've had states in the past that we got really excited about and we pushed everybody uh, everybody onto a call to go see it. And then we ended up getting, you know, a thousand or 1500 BDP leads in that area. And then we had to go back and apologize to everyone that we got them on the call. So that's why we're, we're being a little careful as far as saying to the entire agency, hop on and go into Nebraska. Uh, but like Mike said, we're recording it. So we'll be, uh, we'll be able to post it on our, our, our website that they go into to see if, they're, if we found that we're going to go into Nebraska. Um, you guys are going to have a combination of telesales and some field people on this call. Um, so you're going to be getting a little bit of everything. But with that, everyone who's on, thanks for joining. Um, and we will turn it over to either you, Christina, or to Heath, whoever wants to, uh, whoever wants to roll with it. Sure thing. I will go ahead and share my screen and, and jump right in. There we go. Okay, so welcome to the Medicare Field Sales AEP 2022 kickoff, and this is just for Nebraska. And meet the team. So I think most of you guys have got to meet Patrick Lima because he used to be over our nationals account. Um, so I think he had worked with you guys as one of his main accounts as well. So he's now the senior director of field sales for the Midwest region. And then there's me, I'm director of Medicare sales for Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska. Um, Vivian Lowe, she's our project coordinator. She ends up um, like helping us out with all of our big projects like uh, rollouts or events or anything like that. So if you guys ever do like a really large event, she'll come out and help support that if it's in one of the um, Midwest regions. On the Nebraska total care side, we have um, Heath Phillips, who's on the call. He is our CEO and plan president. And then also Adam Proctor, who couldn't be on the call today. He's our VP of operations. I can also send out this presentation so you guys have that information as well. Great. And I would like to introduce um, our sales executive, Alexis James. So she's going to be the field support to, to support your brokers, uh, the 1099 feet on the street. She's brand new and she lives in Omaha, Nebraska, and that's her contact information there. She had a mandatory training that she had to do today or else she would be on this call. But that's the person that you want to send to any brokers that you have that are actually working the, um, the Nebraska territory, the 1099s. Pretty tight agenda. Um, of course, we can stop at any time for questions since it is a, a small group. So please let me know if you have any questions as we go. And we'll jump right into it. So I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, Joe Maintana has become our WellCare brand ambassador. So he is our sponsor for WellCare. Um, he also is a member. So he actually chose WellCare when he turned 65 and we're excited to have him as our brand ambassador. Awesome. 
The Centene Overview, I know that you guys are pretty familiar with Centene because you've been selling the All Well products. Um, you know, then you probably know that we bought WellCare a couple of years ago. And with the purchase of WellCare, we became number fortune or number 24 in the Fortune 500. We've also won two Fortune Awards that changed the World Award and the world's most admired company. We have 25.1 million managed care members. We're still the largest in Medicaid and the largest in ACA. And with the purchase of WellCare, we're now the fourth largest in Medicare Advantage. So we are growing and growing. We are in 50 states for our PDP and 33 states for our Medicare Advantage, and we're serving one in 15 individuals. So if you've sold in other states besides Nebraska, you've seen these other brands, the Allwell, Fidelis, HealthNet. It's all going to the WellCare name. So anything that has been branded for our Medicare products as an Allwell, Trillium, or any of it, for 2022, it'll all be WellCare. So the reason for that is for national brand recognition. All of our Medicare pro products now need to be underneath one platform, which is going to be the WellCare name. Now, for to help with confusion, it will look like this for 2022 for the brands that were not WellCare before. So if you have members that have All Well or Fidelis Care, they will receive it looking like this, well care by all well, to help with any confusion. They understand, oh, okay, I know what this is now. Instead of just getting well care, like I didn't have well care, I had all well. So that yeah. helps with any confusion. They don't have to change their plans or anything like that. It's gonna be a complete and easy transition. It's just new branding for all of our well care products. And that just has a quick look of what it's gonna look like. So now we'll talk about Nebraska itself. We are an expansion state, or Nebraska is an expansion state for us for 2022. We are entering 37 counties with a competitive portfolio, including HMO, PPO, DSNP, LIS, and give back plans. Our platinum dental feature is brand new to the market. This is on our HMO DSNP. This is a plan that has no, or a benefit that has no annual max. So it, there's no cap on the amount of money that they can spend each year on their dental. That's huge, I've never heard of that before. Now there will be service caps just because you can't pull the same tooth twice, but there's not gonna be at a maximum of how much they can spend each year on their dental. That's huge. That includes we have a the denture, the mm -hmm. denture side as well. There's no max on the denture side. Exactly, no maximum amount of money. Now there will be service charges, me or service caps meaning they can't get a new pair of dentures every year. It's yeah. gonna be a brand new pair of dentures every five years, but yeah, there's no cap on how much they can spend on, on dentures. It even includes dental implants. Very awesome product, yes. On top of that, we have our flex spending card, which is also unique to the market in Nebraska. This is on top of the initial benefits that they receive. This is a prepaid visa, which we'll go into a little more detail about it, but it gives them extra money to spend on dental, vision, and hearing. If you sold those in our other states, then you, you've, you've noticed this flex spending card, but this gives your members the freedom to spend where they need that money. And this is going to be on five out of our six plans. And then we're coming in with a complete network in all territories with little to no network gaps. First time I've ever seen a company enter into a state like this and have that network already in place before 10-1. That's huge. You shouldn't see any network gaps. If you do, please let us know. It's not a closed network. We will reach out to them. So if you find the mom and pop shops and you're like, hey, I can't find them in your provider directory, let us know. We'll reach out to them. We'll, we'll see if they're willing to contract with us. Christina, stop me if you're gonna get to mm -hmm. this. Um, how, what have you seen so far as far as Ascend being updated with these doc, with all these doctors? We know certain states, you just can't find a doctor on Ascend, but, but they're part of the network. Do you know if, um, if they've done a good job in getting all of these doctors loaded into the system? Um, we are getting there. We knew that was going to be a priority for us 
Uh, so they have been working on it. We found a couple of glitches early on, but we addressed them too. So we found out that this was happening and we're going in and trying to fix it as soon as possible. And the, the, what we found is some doctors are showing up in our HMO network, but not showing up in the PPO network. Well, our network is the same across the board. So if they're in network with an HMO, they're in network with our PPO and vice versa. So that's something that we have to go in and clean up. That was just a glitch. Anything you find like that, please bring it to me. Sometimes we just don't know this is going on. So it needs to be brought to our attention so we can get it fixed. Okay. okay can we go to wellcare.com and maybe as a double check? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be wellcarene.com. So Nebraska, the abbreviations. Wellcarene.com. Okay. Mm hmm which if you go to wellcare.com, it'll redirect you. You just have to click on health plans. Right. Okay. Um, so this map here, we've heard that it's not accurate the where we have the, uh, the shading, but the counties over to the left are. So this is the 37 counties that we're going into. And our product map. So we have all six plans in all 37 counties to make it convenient as well. If you go into any of our covered counties, we're covering it for all six of our plans. And this is a list of just some of our providers that we already have in network. CHI, I know that's a big one. Brian, Nebraska Med, Methodist, those are the ones that people keep asking us, do you have them in network? Yes, we do. And then some of our, in Central, we've got Great Plains, which is big. I guess we're one of the few companies that actually has Great Plains in network. So that's one of our top selling features is that we got them all. And with dental too, we realized dental is one of our top selling features as well. So we need dentists that we can, that they can go to. We're working on adding dentists to this every single day. We already have a couple in Scott's Bluff now, and we're actively adding dentists to it on the daily. And this is our vendors, and this, because we send out this presentation, it's nice to have their phone numbers, their information of who we're using as our, um, our vendors. And let's talk a little bit more about this flex spending card, just in case somebody is new to this. This is a prepaid visa that will have between $200 to $2,500 on it, and it will be used in addition to the benefit amount they already receive for dental, vision, and or hearing. They can use it for one benefit. They can use it for all three benefits. It doesn't matter. It just can be used for those services. It can't be used for other services, so it can't be used for medical expenses or just go into Walmart to pick up, you know, OTC items, but it can be used for dental vision and hearing. So if they have, let's say, $3,000 in dental and then they have a $2,000 flex spending card, well, if they needed all that money towards their dental part of it, now they've got $5,000 instead of just that initial $3,000. It gives them the buying power to use the extra benefits where they need it, which helps with retention. You don't have to go switching their plan every year based on their new needs. They can have their needs at their, in their own hands since as a prepaid visa. And I guess, I guess with, my the, voice. with the dental benefits as strong as they are, they probably shouldn't even need the flex card for the dental side. Hopefully not, but it can be used for services that are not covered. So dental implants are covered underneath our platinum dental feature. That's only on one of our plans. Oh, right. That's so just if they, plan. got it. Yep, the DSNEP. Yeah, so our other plans that may not cover the implants, then that prepaid visa can be used for that. Mm -hmm. It can also be used for other services not covered, like prescription sunglasses, or let's say they want to go out of network. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't get that dentist in network fast enough for them. Well, they could use that for that as well to go out of network. If they go out of network with one of our PPO plans, then they pay a 40 to 50%, and that could also be used for that as well. Got it. Gotcha. Now, there is going to be a cap on vision just because overutilization in 2021, I guess people were <laughs> like getting a bunch of eyeglasses and selling them. So, we did have to put a cap on that just so we can keep this benefit on our plans. 
it'll be a cap of 250 if the amount on the card is 750 or greater. But that's the only cap that's on there. Our PPO plans and our decent plans will all have PERS, our personal emergency response. Ours is a little bit different than others because it, they do not have to have a landline. They do not have to have a cell phone. It can, connects without either of those. It does have GPS and fall detection, which is great. But what sets us apart too is that it's not just for emergencies. It's not just to help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. This is basically a concierge service for them. They push that blue button and they have an immediate person on the phone with them. They can push that button to get help setting up doctor's appointments, helping to order their medication. We even have an incident where a guy in St. Louis pushed that button and said, oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to order a pizza. And they're like, okay, well, let's, let, let us help you order that pizza. You know, they could push it if they're, wow. if they're lonely. And so that's a little bit of the burden off of you guys that they have another person that they can talk to is, and get help this, from. Is this uh, specific to Nebraska or is this the PERS that is national? This is our PERS that is national that we use with all of our all of our plans that include PERS has this one here. Hmm. Okay. Great. Yeah. Is this, is this safe to say, sorry to interrupt, um, that we pay for the service that runs on as well? Is that running on a service? It is, and it's all at no cost to your member. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Our OTC, so our over-the-counter benefit, all of our plans have some type of benefit amount except for our give back plan. So with this, they have, they can order it through our catalog and there's multiple ways that they can order it and like fill out a sheet, they can call their order in, they can do it online, but we'll also have participating CVSs where they can actually go in and get their over-the-counter items as well. So that's the website down there where you can look up to see which CVS locations will be participating. Since Nebraska is a new market to us, you know, we'll keep adding more and more of those locations. So they just have to go through kind of like a training process. So it takes a little bit longer to add those in, than we'd like. But I think there's like four or five of them in Omaha so far, one in Lincoln, and we'll keep adding more locations to that as well as we go. And Silver Sneaker, Silver Sneaker is on all of our plans. So they get the same Silver Sneaker offerings that they get with anybody who has the Silver Sneakers plan. And now we will jump into our benefits at a glance. So these are two DSNP plans. So our Dual Liberty is our HMO DSNP. So this is going to be a little bit more competitive than our PPO because they have to stay in network for all you know, scheduled care. Emergencies, of course, can be taken care of anywhere. But this one includes that platinum dental feature, that one that has no annual max on the amount that they can spend each year on their dental coverage. It also covers implants and dentures. Now there will be service caps like we talked about, but those will be labeled in the summary of benefits. So you can point that out to the member and say, these are your limitations. They're very clear and concise to the point. 3,000 in hearing, 300 eyewear, and on top of that, they get that $1,500 flex spending card for dental, vision, and hearing. 350 over the or 350 quarterly over over the counter benefit. My goodness, 36 one way visits for non medical transportation. I want to talk about this a little bit because you may not know in Nebraska if someone has Medicaid, they already receive unlimited transportation to and from their doctor office, you know, it's medical. This is for non-medical. So to the grocery store, to the gym, you know, whatever they need it for. So they already get unlimited medical transportation. This is non-medical transportation. They also get grocery delivery. Now they do have to qualify for this. So they have to have a chronic condition and be at risk for hospitalization. To qualify for this, the easiest thing to do is have is set them up with a, a case manager. We have them available at no cost. Anybody can have one of our case managers. With the decent plans, it's, they have somebody that reaches out to them yearly to see if they should 
be assigned one anyway. But if you want to get one to them earlier before they actually receive that call, then have them call customer service. You can call customer service with them, or you can reach out to Alexis James, our, our local person, and she can help get that, that going for you. But this is $50 a month grocery delivery, and it's sent through shipped straight to their doorstep. Christina, can I interrupt you for one second? You, you sure, said yeah. that in Nebraska, they automatically get the medical transportation um, to and from the doctors. Will they continue to use their Medicaid for those, or would that be something that's coming through the well care plan? No, they'll continue to use their Medicaid for that. Okay. And then the well care will be for their non-medical transportation. So they already have a phone number that they're used to calling if they've already used it. They continue just using that same phone number that they have been using. Okay. And then for the um, for them qualifying for, for one of the uh, chronic conditions, us doing the HRA right when we do the enrollment, does that not speed up the process of them getting that case manager if they're going to get one? You know, it, we've been told it, it does. I haven't got to see it in real time to, to tell right. you if it does or not. But yeah, I mean, first you get paid for doing that HRA. And if it does speed up that process, even better. Because our DSNP, they will be reached out by a case manager. But if they're looking at those HRAs to determine who needs that reach out call first, yes, I mean, I would definitely, definitely do that. Not only do you get paid for it, but it could speed up that process for you. Right, right. Okay, great. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. That's, that's what we're for. Of course, silver sneaker is purse. And then the in-home in support, the, the six visits a year, that's for somebody coming into their home for cleaning um, or cooking, whatever they need help with. Just like the grocery delivery, they do need to qualify for that as well. And it's the same thing. The chronic conditions get that case manager involved. Now, our well care access open. So anytime you see the word, word open on our plans now, that means PPO. So this is our PPO DSNP. It does have 2000 in dental allowance. This one doesn't include implant coverage, but it does include denture coverage. But they get that flex spending card at 750 that can help pay for implants if that's what they're going for. Now, the reason to sell a PPO DSNP versus the HMO DSNP is because they can basically go anywhere. As long as they're going to somewhere that accepts their Medicaid, it gives them that freedom. Now we're trying to get everybody in network, but sometimes there's pain management clinics or something like that, that we might not, may not have reached out to yet. This ensures that they can go anywhere that accepts their Medicaid. So the benefits aren't gonna be as rich as an HMO because they have a lot more freedom, but they're still gonna be very rich benefits. They also get 2000 in hearing aid coverage, 300 in eyewear, that 750 flex spending card, 225 quarterly OTC, and this one also has the 36 one-way visits for non-medical transportation, silver sneakers, PERS, and this one actually includes 24 visits for the in-home support. Christina, before you leave and, the slide, uh, can you just share how that might stack up versus the competitive field, just on, on some major, major selling point areas? Sure. So nobody else has a platinum dental at all. I mean, that's, that's unheard of. It's the first time that it's came to the market as far as I know of in a Medicare managed plan. Nobody else has the flex spending cards in Nebraska. So those are two game changers right there that the members are gonna be like, well, oh, what is this? I mean, I've never heard of this before. I'm interested. Um, the home delivery groceries is a little bit different that you know, they can't just go to a grocery store and pick it up, but it's delivered to their home, you know, each, each month. And they don't have to worry about go picking it out. It's based on their nutritional needs, but based on that chronic condition that they have. The in-home support, I mean, these are things that they need to qualify for, but unlike our competition that has these benefits, but they only get to choose one, ours are included in it at no additional cost. And they don't only have to choose one, they get all of them as long as they qualify for the grocery delivery, 36 one-way trips, and then the in-home support. Those are all ones that they need to qualify for. Great, I think that's helpful. Christina, since, since okay. I brought mm -hmm. up the competition, 
I'm too early on this tell me. But the, the state of Nebraska has a ridiculously low penetration. I think it was like 6.1% or something like that. <laughs> it is. I thought I had that slide in here. I don't know where it went, but yes, uh, <laughs> it's very Maybe, very maybe I jumped ahead on you. Um, I, I guess I'm just curious on why. Why is there so, what type of people are we going to come across that there's such a low penetration of MA in the state? Well, I mean, a lot of it has to do with network, honestly. I mean, when I was looking at what our competition is doing, you know, one of them has like this guy in network, but they don't have these two main players in network. And this one has these two main players, but they don't have this one. So it's really, a, an honestly, a med up environment. Because some of the areas that we're going into, like Scotts Bluff County, the only Medicare Advantage plan that's available to them is a $44 private fee-for-service plan, just because they couldn't get the network. Nebraska Total Care, which he's done here, they did an amazing job at building these relationships with these providers and actually getting them in network with us so we can go in with these type of plan benefits and, and the network. Yeah, Christina, I'll just say, you know, one of the goals that we had going in, quite frankly, was, was um, you know, to prioritize not just having a strong network in Omaha, which we tend to see what, what uh, that, that be what some of our competitors have, have done. Uh, but, you know, over time, you know, the goal is to get to about 80% uh, of, of all of the, the Medicare uh, eligibles within a, a, a covered area and we're actually going going out day one with with right at 80 percent of the the total medicare eligible lives are within the network that 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 will 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 be rolling out so you know i i concur um you know we tried to to have some some shiny objects we think dental and and our flex spending card is 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 certainly you know checking those boxes but our network is is in my opinion it's far and away uh, differentiates us from, from our competitors. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And, you know, honestly, if you look at what the penetration is, MedSup and private fee for service plans, just because they didn't have that network and people aren't willing to leave their doctor, it seems like in Nebraska. If we don't have their doctor and network, then they're just going to choose a plan that, that does have their doctor and network. So we definitely have the advantage there. So historically, decent clients are just sitting on Medicaid and that's they're just happy there. Is that sort of fair to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Medicaid and the PDB. Okay. Because they have transportation already. Um, so it's really dangling these extra benefits in front of them to letting them know it's not too good to be true. That's really what we're going to have the pushback from is this is too good to be true. No, yeah. you get this. It's, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep. And, and, you know, we, we have, um, and I'm, it's been a while since I looked at this, so my numbers may be off slightly, but um, they're right at about 13,000 dual members in our current Medicaid portfolio and about 10, 10 to 11,000 of those are, are going to be within the, the counties that, that we're, we're going live. Um, and, and so, you know, to, to extend this point, we have, we've, for that, that group of, of, of um, recipients, you know, we've sort of tailored our Medicare offerings to complement our Medicaid offerings. And so we really feel and that transportation is a great example. You know, we have unlimited transportation on the Medicaid side. And so we really feel like that is, is, is going to speak to, you know, the, the dual, the dual populations out there. So, you know, for us, um, you know, we, we think we've positioned ourselves, not just from a network, but we, we think the portfolio of products is, uh, is pretty strong as well. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Heath. And one of those project uh, products is our WellCare No Premium HMO. Um, so anytime you see no premium, obviously there, there's no premium with the plan and we are going to be held accountable for that. If you think about it, we cannot put a premium on a plan that's called no premium. So you can rest assured if you put your member on this, you don't have to change them in a year or two because we put on a $15, $20 you know, premium on there. It will always be a no premium plan. 
zero PCP, 25 specialists. That's very low copay, especially on the specialist side. I mean, a lot of people are coming out with the zero PCP, but 25 specialists is one of the lowest, if not the lowest. $3,900 MOOC, 300 ambulance. Now this is big for Nebraska because this is air and ground. In Nebraska, they use a lot of air because it's a lot of rural and frontier area. So not having a 20% charge on the ambulance is a big deal. It's a set copay just like ground. 375 days one through five for inpatient. Outpatient surgeries is 250 at a hospital, 200 at a surgery center. MRI is 200 unless it's at an outpatient hospital facility, then it's 300. ER 90, urgent care 35. And you can get tier one, tier two, and tier six through our meal order at zero cost. Our tier threes are $37. That's huge too, because a lot of tier threes with our competition are 45, 47. I mean, this is saving them about $10 per month on the medication that's considered a tier three. Tier six medications, which we talked about, but what sets us apart also is that we have that tier six. These are your maintenance medications. So high cholesterol, high blood pressure, ones that they're taking every single day. These are always zero at a standard pharmacy, at a preferred pharmacy, and tier one and tier two are zero through the donut hole as well. You also have great extra benefits, like 2,000 in dental, that includes denture coverage, 1,500 hearing aid, 200 eyewear. On top of that, a 750 flex spending card. That's on a traditional HMO plan. That's huge. 60 quarterly OTC, silver sneakers, and more. So very rich on the extra benefits, very competitive on the core benefits. So this is a Basically, one of the plans that you're going to pull out, if you're out in the field, they want an HMO, this is probably the one that everyone's going to be pulling out to show them. Our well care give back is that. It's a give back. It gives $360 a year back on their Part B annually. So that's $30 a month. That's getting them back to about that $115 that they haven't seen in about five years. So it's saving them $30 a month. This plan is good for the non-utilizers, the low utilizers, the ones that don't want to pay for a monthly premium. And if we're basically going to pay them to have our plan, hey, that's even better. Also, I've heard of brokers pairing these up with hospital indemnity plans, covering them for the big stuff and using that $30 that they save to help go towards that monthly premium on that hospital indemnity. Still very low out-of-pocket cost for a give back plan that includes drug coverage. So this is not an MA only, this actually has prescription drug coverage in it with zero tier one Part D copayments. Also has extra benefits, 1,000 in dental, 700 hearing aid, 100 eyewear, silver sneakers and more. So this is a really rich and competitive give back plan. Our well care no premium open. So this is our no premium PPO. Zero PCP, 35 specialists. Again, that's very competitive for a PPO plan. Competitive move at 4,900. Ambulance, air and ground at 300. Again, that's huge in Nebraska, that air and ground set copay. 375 days one through five inpatient. 300 outpatient surgery, unless it's at a surgery center, then it's 250. 150 MRI, unless it's at an outpatient hospital, and then it's 300. 90 ER, 50 urgent care. And then it's got the same um, drug coverage as the HMO does. So the $0 for the one, two, and six for the mail order, and then the 37 tier one preferred pharmacy. $1,500 in dental, including dentures, 100 hearing aids, 200 in eyewear, and on top of that, they're getting a $200 flex spending card. That's, again, flex spending cards in five of our six plans. 
35 quarterly OTC silver sneakers, purse, and more. Now, when we talk about the well care assist, that is our LIS PPO. LIS is low income subsidy. So that's federal help on their PDP, the prescription drug coverage. This plan has a monthly premium of $23.20, but that's on the PDP side. So if they have low income subsidy at 100%, that premium becomes zero. And I also have a little graph on the next slide here that shows you if they're 75, 50, or 25% what they'll pay. So since there's a small monthly premium on it, we can enhance the benefits, lower the co-payments. Now, anybody can pay $23.20 and get this awesome plan, but if they have 100% LIS, that premium becomes zero. It's got zero PCP, 20 specialist co-pays, a $4,500 move, 300 ambulance air and ground, and this one's big right here. 225 days one through five for inpatient stay. 225, that's almost unheard of. 300 outpatient surgery, unless it's at a surgery center, then it's 250. 100 MRI, unless it's at an outpatient hospital, then it's 300. 90 ER, 40 urgent care. And then the next slide will show you what their co-payments are for their prescriptions because it's underneath the LIS structure. Enhanced extra benefits. So we're doing 2,000 in dental, including dentures, 1,000 hearing aid, 200 eyewear, and a $400 flex spending card, 75 OTC, and this one has transportation, 24 one-way visits per year. Since it, this is not you know, a Medicaid plan, this is just low-income subsidy, they actually get transfer, transportation in a non-decent plan. Also something I've never seen. Silver sneakers, purrs, meals, and more. This is the most rich, non-decent plan that I've ever seen. So um, there's no there's and, no cap on the vision for that since the flex is only 400? That is correct. Yep. So the flex card has to be 750 or more for the, the, for the vision cap. Gotcha. All right, cool. When, when you say 1,000 hearing aid coverage, is that per year or is that 1,000 both years? That's a thousand combined. Combined, okay. <clears throat> and this right here is our LIS level. So you guys, I don't know if you guys use Ascend technology or not, but in Ascend, it lets you know what level of LIS they are in real time. Category one, category two, category three, is the monthly premium zero. And then to the right is what their co-payments would be depending on what category they are. Category four has 175, 50 or 25%. And that shows you what the monthly premium would be depending on if they hit those levels. And then over to the right is what their co-payments are gonna be. This now, is this for one the, has the last plan you just showed, correct? Correct, yeah. So the Welker Assist Open, the LIS it's plan. Open. Got it. Got it, got it, okay. Now this is honestly gonna be for any plan because if anybody has LIS, this is what they pay. Not the monthly premium part of it, but the, the co-payment right, part of right. it. But yes, yeah, this is particular to that plan. Yep, okay. This is helpful. Oh, good. Sorry, I keep having to pause it to clear my throat. <laughs> I've been, this is my third presentation of the day. <laughs> <laughs> And so in 2022, we're trying to improve everything, including our diabetic supplies. So of course our one touch meters are still gonna be at zero cost, um, but we're now gonna be covering the continuous blood glucose monitor. So the Dexacom and the Freestyle Libre. Now, of course they do have to qualify for this. So this isn't somebody who just pricks their finger once a day. It could be multiple pricks a day. So this will be the non-pricking system basically. And then I don't know if you guys have a contact that you ever use to help people with their diabetic supplies, but we use Evie Hitson. She helps people get qualified for that continuous glucose monitor. So she actually contacts the doctor, gets all the things that they need to get this covered. 
Same thing with just diabetic supplies. If for some reason they go to Walmart, they're trying to get their meter in strips and Walmart tries to charge them a co-payment or, or any place that they go to, any pharmacy, well, they're billing it wrong. She can actually help them and make sure that they get those supplies at no cost. Just to confirm, this is specific to the state of Nebraska, correct? This is not. Um, this is anywhere in the ADS. Really? They're, they're in all 50 states. Yes. So this is just another company we work with just to help with brokers. Like, so all the broker has to do is text EV. There might be, she might have a different contact person throughout the state, but if you text her, she'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't take care of California. Let's say I take care of these states, but I'll get you in contact with the person who does. We want, we want to, are they, do they prefer that this is coming from the agent or they want us to send a client to, to, to EV? So the ADS, they're, they're just advanced diabetic supply. So this is just a pharmacy that we contract with and work with. So if you're having troubles, like, so let's say that your member um, goes to the doctor, says, I want this continuous blood glucose monitoring system. The doctor files it, but for some reason it doesn't go through. Then the broker would text EV. Okay. They would have to get permission from the member. They cannot send any PHI information at all. Sure, so they would just text EV, hey, my member Pam would like you to call her because they got Pam's permission. This is mm -hmm. her phone number. So okay. Pam knows that Evie's going to call him, and then Evie calls Pam to help her get that that approved. This this is awesome, Christina. We have this has never been shared with us in every state that we do business in. So this is awesome. Yeah. So oh, even, yeah, I'm glad I could help. Even things like you said, when they're going in network, they're using one touch supplies. They're supposed to be zero dollar copays, and like you said, they get billed, and they're like, "What's going on?" That's a this is a perfect person. Yes, exactly. Beautiful. Yep. Okay, that's awesome. And it's just easy. You just text her. I mean, I mean, you can email her or call her if you want to, but she was like, I do text. And she said, the best thing that you guys can do is if you go to an appointment with somebody and you see that they have a ton of diabetic supplies, you're like, you know what, they might need some extra hand holding. Then text her right away. Say, I just signed this client up. They could, you know, I got permission for you to contact them. Just want to make sure that they can get all of their supply hassle free. And she'll work with them from the very beginning. Very cool. Yeah. She usually goes to our rollout meetings as well when we do the big in-person ones just because it's so convenient. We just want to make things as easy on agents as possible. Christina, the prior slide about the, the diabetes supply, I, I looked away and it was gone. There, thanks so much. I just wanted to glance at that. I'll make a copy, thanks. <laughs> no, I will send out this presentation too for you guys as well. I'll just go ahead and send it to Anthony and he can send it out to whomever if that's okay. Yeah. Guys, we will we will post this on the div.com slash send team. And then uh, and this will this will be up there with everything else. Perfect, thank you. So we're constantly making improvements on our pharmacy, and we realize that's a big ask. When we talked, when we did our broker roundtables and we had asked us, what do you want to see us improve on? Most of it came for pharmacy. We want improvements on your formularies, on drugs that are covered. So one of the big things here is that we're covering Part D preventive vaccine drugs at a zero copay. That's the shingle shot. That's huge. So it's not covered as a tier three or a tier four with us. That is a zero copay for them. We're also going to be covering excluded drugs. What excluded drug means is Medicare usually doesn't allow us to cover it, but we will be covering the generic form of ED drugs, the two labeled there. And I don't know, did you guys have a lot of people that sold PDPs? Do you want me to go into the merger no, and like? No, you don't have to. No, okay. So I've got slides on here if people do want to see it. We'll let you know which, which plans that we kept, which ones basically crosswalked into those, and then what the new premiums are here. Yeah, you don't, you don't have And then this, okay, nice. I would assume everyone has their certifications done. Um, this kind of goes into our discounted rate and all that. Mm -hmm. Sales material, um, custom point, and then, of course, the PDFs. If anybody needs any PDFs, I can also send those as well. I already have them downloaded. 
and ordering material through custom point. If you guys have any problems, you know, please let me know. And Ascend, do you guys use Ascend or do you use something else? Yes. Yeah. For the most part, we use Ascend. Okay, perfect. So Ascend's still gonna be the same, um, how you get in there and all that. We will include, um, they're, 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 they've got the rate and all that, but they're gonna include hopefully soon the text part of it as well, not only for the scope of appointment, but for the enrollment itself. It hasn't gone through yet. So for the enrollment, they do need to be face-to-face -face or sent through an email at this time. Um, Value-based enrollments, we're still paying the $60 for finishing or completing the HRA at the end. Does anyone have any, oh, and with the LIS, um, when you go into Ascend, we're asked if you wanna see if you qualify for extra help. That's where you're going to check to see if they have LIS. And if they do, what level of LIS they have. Same thing with Medicaid. And we one, will be doing a SEND training if anybody wants to join those. I'm sorry? One of the things, um, one of the things with checking people's eligibility in a SEND, you know, with us working in multiple states is we still tend to use SPOP quite a bit. And the reason for that is some states are real good in a SEND as far as checking Medicaid eligibility and others are kind of a pain in the butt and not not consistent. Do you know gotcha. yet how how we're going to be doing in Nebraska? If Nebraska is one of those states where it's hard to get into the state system and it reports correctly in Ascend, or are we going to be using SPOP for it? I have, when I started looking in there, everything's been popping up correct. Um, that might be a Heath question, not Ascend itself, but at least the reporting, because Heath is over the Medicaid side of things. Have you heard any feedback on that, Heath, if, if it's getting into the system properly? Uh, I mean, I, I guess I, I haven't heard feedback that it's not. So, um, but I, I can I can get with my team and ask that question specifically. Okay. <clears throat> I had a quick, quick question. Um, I guess one of the reasons a lot of people use SPOP too is because in, in, in S, uh, I mean, in Ascend, you actually have to either give the social or the Medicaid ID number. I think you need both or mm -hmm. one or the other to go forward. <clears throat> forward. I even had a social, which I had, but I didn't have a Medicaid number. A social I had, but I couldn't do anything with just the social. I needed the Medicaid too. And SPOP, they have a way to get around that in certain states. Is Nebraska state for SPOP, do you know that you need that Medicaid number to check or like New York? You, you need do with a SEND, but I don't know about SPOP. And through okay. a SEND, if you're just checking LIS, you just need their Medicare number. Yep. But if you're checking Medicaid, yes, you will have to have the Medicaid ID number. Okay. Andrew, in, in New York, I, I put in a Medicare number and a social, and it's given me their Medicaid. I'm, Oh, sorry, there, I put in a Medicare number, their social, and it's given me their Medicare That's correct. Number. That's okay. worked. I forget which other state I tried and it needed. I had the social, but it needed the Medicaid too through Ascend, and it wasn't letting me go forward without it, but I can't remember the state. But every state is a, is a little different, Rob. Yep. Okay. From what it allows for, it doesn't. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back around. I, I guess related question, I noticed here, signature via email, because... Does that mean we cannot do a verbal signature here? Um, no. um, you can do the verbal through rate, but not only through rate, which is you have that them call that 800 number that you get, and that's how you do it through there. It records the conversation. Okay. Rob, it's, it's just, it's just going to be an additional option to be able to do it that we don't have right now. That's all that's going to be. Okay. All right. And then broker communications. I don't know if you guys have seen, but a lot of well care communication goes to spam and junk mail. I don't know why. Um, so you might want to check that, make sure that you're receiving all of our communications and get those to start going to your inbox if they are going to your junk. That's the reason we kind of point this out here. Also, I'll be sending this out. This will have all of your important phone numbers on there. And because you guys are working, you know, all different states, just to talk about national, we will have national advertising that you'll see everywhere. Um, the big ones that we will be advertising is our flex spending card. So hopefully that will start getting shoppers to shop and get the phones to start ringing and people, you know, signing permission to contact forms and all that. But 
you'll see quite a bit of advertising that's going to start being national and specific to to each market as well. But national is going to be the big thing because we're trying to rebrand as the new well care, the well care underneath the Centene platform. And this is a little look on some of the direct mail pieces that we're going to have. And that's oh. about it. So what kind of questions do we have? Uh -huh. I got a question for you that we ask we ask in every state because we're partners and we can help you get to your goals. It helps us get to our goals. What is what is your goal for AEP for the state of Nebraska specifically? I do not know yet. Patrick Lima knows, but he's not allowed to send that out. He's trying to get um, uh -huh. approval. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. All right. So you can get with Patrick and he knows. Um, okay. Last time we talked about it, it sounded like it was going to be around 500, which is really low for sure. the state, but he didn't know how that was going to be divvied out and all that. Okay. Yeah, all I, right. I, I, can, I, I can tell you that, you know, that initial conversation was around that 500 member mark, but, you know, I, I will tell you, you know, I know there's a lot of people that feel like if that's where we end, you know, we'll, we will not have have met our, our our potential right out of the gate. I mean, we we think with our network and our products that that is a you know quite a low estimate for where we where we should end up. So you know we're we're pretty optimistic, and you know my conversations really all the way up to the CEO of Centene have have been that you know we're we're poised to to have a better start than that. Okay, okay, that that kind of gives us an idea of um of you know helping you guys get to where you need to get to. And obviously that helps us achieve our goals as well. So very yeah, cool. we appreciate that. Cool. And let us know how we can help you like in the field. So I'm just over, you know, field sales, so your feet on the street, but any way we can help support you, let me know. I think Keith is, um, he's handled all of it, okay. but I'm not. Um... Yeah. And, and I will tell you, you know, again, we're, we own it in Nebraska. So uh, to me, we have the best of both worlds. We we've got obviously, um, a great team at Centene and we have access to awesome resources and subject matter experts uh, you know, like Christina and uh, we, so we have tons of help and we're not trying to circumvent um, you know our national processes because those are, are tried and true and proven uh, but you know we do own the success uh, locally in Nebraska and so you know if, if it's our goal to, to make this as seamless as possible. We want to not only have a good and strong network coming out of the gate, but we want to maintain it. Um, so, so people don't have to worry about providers falling, you know, on and off of our network. And, and then from, from our perspective, if, you know, if you guys need help, you know, we don't want anyone being frustrated. So you were, I think Christina said she was going to send this presentation out, but my number's on there. Adam Proctor's number's on there. Um, our email address is on there. Please email us if you guys you know, have uh, run into any issues or, or there's anything that we can do locally because um, we want to we want to keep advancing the ball down the field. And, you know, we don't want to we don't want to end up with one less member uh, than, than what we potentially, you know, ha have have the opportunity to uh, to secure. And then we want to just you know, we want to make sure that we provide good service moving forward. So we're, we're committed to being good partners locally and whatever we can do to to, to make that a reality. We're very willing to do so. Very cool. And just last, obviously, so this is the first year uh, for well care in Nebraska. Is that, did I get that right? Yeah, I will tell you, yeah, I will tell you, yeah. we, we've had to, we've, we've been a Medicaid plan and, um, you know, Medicaid well care before the acquisition of Centene was a, was a, a Medicaid MCO. So one of the things that we've tried to tell people um, who are familiar with well care and maybe, uh, maybe even ran into some issues with well care is, to think about WellCare previously as a as a company, and think about WellCare now as a brand. And so, if you you may you may people may bring that up, you may hear that, um, but that is that that's where their their um, their knowledge of WellCare would would be tied back to when WellCare was in Nebraska as a as a uh, Medicaid MCO. Does anybody have any other questions? Awesome. Well, Christina, if you could, uh, if you could just send me this presentation, it'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Re really appreciate appreciate the time. Appreciate you guys hopping on and, and going through uh, going through all these details to help us. Um, as we all know, guys, AEP is here. So uh, let's let's start let's start pushing this product uh, now so that we can get up 
get all those appointments set up for October 15th and 16th and have those be the two biggest days we have. Sounds good. Well, Thanks, we appreciate guys. the partnership and let us know if we need, if you guys need anything at all. Thanks so much Absolutely. for letting us uh, present. Absolutely. Thanks again. Everybody have a great day. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.